We had a really big storm mud uh, over Patriots Day this past spring, and um, we lost 16 feet of dunes, um, and we're gradually losing more and more. Um, the jetty, which is out back here, um, was put in um, to protect the the mouth of the Saco River, basically to keep the uh, sand that was naturally flowing down the river um, to transport it further out into the Saco Bay. Um, this was really important for all the mills in Biddeford um, because it was really important for shipping. There was a lot of shipping during uh, early 1900s, late 1800s. Um, however, today now we're seeing that um, because the sand's traveling so far out, it's not naturally becoming, it's not being deposited naturally back on the beach, and rather it's being transported over down near Old Orchard Beach. Um, so we're actually losing sand while they're gaining sand, and their beach is becoming bigger while ours is shrinking. We're going to basically be doing what we did during Kids for the Earth, um, which is collecting seaweed. Um, there's a lot of it down uh, where the waves are washing up that we can grab. Um, I have some buckets and also uh, a wheelbarrow, and we can grab those and um, work work the seaweed up to this part of the dunes here. I don't know what what do you guys think? Do you want to do like an assembly line where we pass the buckets up, or no, we just go gather them and bring them up. Okay. More exercise that way. All right. That sounds great. Let's get going. Today, maybe uh, with another group, we'll be piling sand to basically hold, hold the seaweed in. And, um, over a period of time, as we layer seaweed and layer sand, we'll begin to build the dunes back out and we'll begin to see more of the hill shape. The wind right now is basically hitting the sand, and you can see every once in a while some sand falls down, and it's basically the wind's eroding it away. Um, so we're losing some that way without even having a storm, it's just the wind pulling the sand off. Um, so with the hill, the wind will kind of ride up over the hill and won't mine away the sand. How exhausting was it? Um, not really exhausting as some other jobs, but kind of. Like, just moving seaweed all over. Carrying the wheelbarrow was pretty hard because the wheelbarrow itself is kind of heavy, and then the sand kept going in front of it and stopping it, so it was just like really difficult. And when it's filled with seaweed, it's really heavy. Anybody else? The buckets were hard, carrying the buckets up and down. Traveling seaweed. Oh. For you kids for the earthers, you can help me out a little bit. But we kind of talked about it a little bit. What's the big deal with dune grass? Why is it so important? Just to recap a little bit. It um it like keeps the sand together because it's like really really um tangled because it's together and all the sand sticks. Yeah, yeah, the roots are like a net, so they hold the sand back. And what is there anything in particular that's special about the roots? They're eight feet deep and eight feet wide. Yeah, they're really, yeah, they're huge. So they go down really far because they have to get water. And they also hold sand back really far. 
Now, what's different about, say, the rocks down there versus the dune grass? What do you think protects the beach better? Dune grass. Dune grass. Dune grass. Why? Because it actually holds the sand. Yeah, there's, it holds. There's spaces between the rocks. Yeah. And have you guys all stood out on the beach when you're going swimming and you're kind of on the edge and the waves go back out and it pulls the sand out from under your feet? Yeah. The same thing happens with the rocks over there. When there's a really big storm, the waves wash in and they pull the sand out from underneath the rocks and the rocks come tumbling down. And then there's nothing behind that to protect the houses or the beach. But with the dune grass, they go really far back and they have really, really deep roots and it takes a while for the storms to erode away the dunes. Yeah, I just want to also thank you all for helping. We did a ton today. All right, one, two, three. Seaweed!